Welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Today's video takes us to southeast of the United States to the Sunshine State of Florida. Although our story today isn't very sunny. Danielle Harkins was a 35-year-old literacy teacher at the Lilman Asian Neighborhood Family Center. She was very well respected and liked by her students, faculty, and parents. Things began to change in the middle of 2014 for Danielle. Her marriage had fallen apart, leading to divorce, and she had begun to act strange according to friends and neighbors. Reportedly, around April of that year, she began talking about Satanism and demon possession constantly. Those close to Danielle found this behavior odd, since she had never been a religious person before, especially going into such dark topics. Rumors began to swirl that Danielle had even begun dabbling in satanic and other dark rituals. Eventually, some of those rumors would prove to be true. On June 14th of that year, local newspapers and television stations began reporting that Danielle had been arrested on several counts of child abuse and battery charges. It appears that she had gathered a small group of her former students, six males and one female, all teenagers. The group proceeded to head to a local park in the St. Petersburg area. There, at Harkin's direction, they built a small fire and began doing ritualistic chanting and dancing. Danielle then told the teenagers that they were demon-possessed and that the demons needed to be released. She then cut one of the teenage boys to release the demon and told him that the wound needed to be cauterized so that the demon would not return. She took a lighter and held the flame to his skin, but the wind blowing off the water kept blowing the flame out. This didn't stop Danielle, though. She then sprayed the boy with perfume and lit his hand on fire, causing second-degree burns. She did not stop there. Another of the teens, she took a piece of broken bottle to his neck and cut him. Then to cauterize this wound, she heated up a key and placed it over the cut. None of the teenagers reported her or showed any form of disloyalty to their former teacher. They did not tell their parents about this, and it was not until another teen, not involved in the ritual, had told their parents that the whole situation came to light. The teens then refused to cooperate with the police, telling them nothing. Danielle Harkins was eventually convicted on one count of abuse and one count of battery. She ended up serving six months in jail and leaving many to believe that she had gotten off very lightly. We thank you so much for joining us today. We truly appreciate all of your support. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Until the next one.